For over 2,000 years, legends have existed of an exquisite text that held the secrets of the universe. Thought to have been a remnant of lost ancient civilization, the writings known as the Emerald Tablets have fascinated esotericists, alchemists, and all truth seekers who wish to better understand the nature of the cosmos. But what exactly are the Emerald Tablets? Could they really contain ancient knowledge from the fall of one of the world's most ancient civilizations? And is there any truth to the claim that they held wisdom on how to attain immortality? Join us in this video as we embark on a journey back to the mystical and cryptical era that was ancient Egypt, to a time when the gods walked among men in the Kemet. This is a video you won't want to miss. Who was Thoth? All throughout ancient Egyptian mythology, we find various deities, each with specific powers and attributes. However, one of the most revered of all was Thoth, the deity of wisdom, writing, science, magic, and a messenger of the gods. According to ancient Egyptian texts, Thoth was born from the lips of Ra at the very beginning of creation and given the name of the god without a mother. However, there are a few sources that speak of a wise sage known as Thoth, who traveled to Egypt after a great cataclysm that destroyed a vast portion of the earth over 10,000 years ago. A number of writers have surmised that Thoth was, in fact, a survivor of the destruction of the fabled ancient capital city of Atlantis that now lies submerged below the Atlantic Ocean. Following the disaster, he and his followers brought with them all of the ancient knowledge of Atlantis and took it eastwards to Egypt. Thoth was considered a Landian priest king who ruled over the advanced civilization for an extended period of time. After establishing his colony in Egypt, it is said he and his survivors were the original builders of the Great Pyramid and did so to leave behind a message of the advancement of Alanian mathematics and engineering. One theory put forth by Cedric Leonard is rather compelling. The writers use a late Egyptian king's list as a source, which collectively names the earliest rulers of Egypt as Aratians. Leonard goes on to suggest that the letter term could well be corruption of the word Atlantean. Furthermore, it's claimed that the Arterians were looked at as gods and are said to hang over a foreign land far from Egypt. However, the idea that the Atlanteans ruled over Egypt has been met with considerable backlash. One prevalent argument being that the dialogue of the Greek philosopher Plato, who speaks at length about Atlantis, is noted that the seafaring culture was at war with Egypt. Nonetheless, various Egyptian texts credit Thoth as a sage who brought the gods eastward in the wake of a worldwide cataclysm. Thoth later became known to the Greeks as Hermes Trismegistus. It's thought that Thoth had the ability to reincarnate at will to Earth, each time coming to spread knowledge that would lead humanity into the light. The third and final recorded persona of the ancient sage was said to have been Hermes, who lived during the time of the Mycenaean Greek civilization. What are the Emerald Tablets? According to ancient texts, the Emerald Tablet is said to be a green stone inscribed with knowledge of the universe. After the fall of Atlantis, Thoth arrived in Egypt. It is here where he said to have compiled the ancient wisdom that Atlantis had gathered up over thousands of years onto a green tablet that we know today as the Emerald Tablet. While scholars are unsure of the original source of the legend, one scholar, Armando May, writes, divided his knowledge into 42 plates of emerald, codifying the great scientific principles ruling the universe. The legend states that after the gods fell, the Hermetic tablets were cleverly hidden so that no human being might find them. Only Thoth, on his return to the dimension, was able to recover the mysterious book. Various legends surrounding the story of the tablets, yet to this day, no surviving artifact can be found. 
The most common story surrounding the precious emerald tablet is that it was found in a cave tomb under a statue of Hermes in Tiana in modern Turkey. Others claim that it was buried in a secret chamber in Egypt. What knowledge is contained in emerald tablets? According to legends, the exact knowledge contained within the emerald tablet is centered on alchemy, a unique practice in which its practitioners try to turn base metals such as lead or copper into gold. However, it's generally thought that this idea is purely spiritual in nature and actually refers to the transmigration of consciousness from a lower to a higher state, ultimately leading to an enlightened state of being. Others claim that an extended history of the human race, stretching back hundreds of thousands of years, was compiled on one of the tablets. This details the rise of Atlantis and how it became one of the greatest civilizations ever to grace the earth and details their vast achievements in both science and culture. Further information contained in the writing speaks of a passageway to the halls of Amenti, otherwise known as the underworld. It's said a secret tunnel system lies beneath the sunken capital of Atlantis. As well as this, the tablet speaks of other races of beings that inhabited Earth and that are not human. But most famous of all is the idea that the text speaks of a recipe that would allow the practitioner to create the Philosopher's Stone. This specific artifact is said to bestow its creator with the gift of immortality. You can watch our detailed video entitled, The Book of Thoth, Eternal Life or Unlimited Wealth. How about both? You will find it on our channel, Folklore on the Tablets. Over the past 1,000 years, numerous claims have been made about the origins of the Emerald Tablets, where they now lie hidden and just what is contained within them. However, to this day, there is still little to no valuable evidence suggesting they exist. One source written sometime in the 8th century suggests that the writer came into contact with the tablets. The Kitab Sir Al-Haliki, or the Book of the Secret Creation of the Art of Nature, which itself was a composite of earlier works, details a story in which a man known as Bolinius discovered the emerald tablets in a cave tomb in Turkey. Based on the ideas contained within this Arabic work, some scholars have gone as far as to say that the claim of that the emerald tablet was actually an Arabic text written sometime between the 5th and 8th centuries, as opposed to a work written in a deep antiquity. Others claim it was merely rediscovered by Arabic writers who decided to record the teachings for later generations. Bolinus, the claimed author of the Book of the Secret Creation, argued that the Emerald Tablets were initially written in Greek. However, the original document had long perished. Some say the text was destroyed in the Great Fire at the Library of Alexandria. However, the fact that it relates back to Greece has led some to surmise that it was, in fact, the product of Hermes Trismegistus, an avatar or reincarnation of the Great Thoth. Nevertheless, Bellina's version of the story became the most popular during medieval times. Over the past 1,000 years, it has been translated into numerous languages and served as a foundation text in what we would become Western alchemy. Throughout the Renaissance, this text was highly influential, with various alchemists of the time providing their own commentary on the text, aimed at enlightening readers to the mysteries contained within them. It even remained relevant into modern times among famous esoterists and alchemists, including Isaac Newton. Among his alchemy papers, as an in-depth translation of the Emerald Tablets was discovered, and today, it's currently housed in King's College Library at Cambridge University. Other notable researchers of the Emerald Tablet include Roger Bacon, Albertus Magnus, John Dee, and Aleister Crowley. And today, knowledge of the legendary Emerald Tablet, well, at least one interpretation of it, is reaching new audiences with its presence in the surreal German language series, Dark. To this day, 
the ancient legend of their emerald tablets has continued to intrigue the minds of people around the world. But could such an artifact really still lie hidden in the sands of Egypt somewhere? Was it really written by an ancient Atlantean priest who moved to Egypt? And does this mysterious text contain knowledge of the universe and a recipe on how to attain immortality? Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like this centered on ancient history, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our extensive library. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.